welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the rip it or ship it tag. You take random book characters and you mix them all together. I wrote them down, put them in this cup. You pull out two names and you decide if you ship it as a relationship. It could be a friendship or a romance. Or if you're going to rip it up and say that should never happen. Ever. Basically what I did is I made a list of couples that I thought might actually work and then I'm mixing up the names and pulling them out and at the end depending on who is paired with who I'll let you know who I paired with them if that makes sense. So um, I'm not I don't think I'll be doing friendships I think I'll just be doing a romance Let's mix them up. Oops, lost some. Not doing a good job. First couple is Edmund Tilney from Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen and Liesel from The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Edmund Tilney is from Northanger Abbey. I don't, I just have all seven in here. Liesel from The Book Thief. Edmund is like Max. He's like an older brother to Liesel. I don't see it romantically, so I rip it. Ooh, Snape from Harry Potter and Myra from the book Myra. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's an Irish name. Myra? 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 Yeah? I don't see them together at all. Myra is a really fierce Celtic warrior. I'm only on the fifth book of the Harry Potter series, so I don't know if I've really gotten to the point where you see the heart of Snape or really start to understand him as a character. The book Myra is... There, there's no pictures, but like this is the front cover, and it's just like seeing her with Snape. If you see what I'm saying, like I don't see her with Snape. Maybe in a weird way? I don't know. So I'm gonna rip it. Amy Elliott Dunn from Gone Girl and Jackson Oz from Zoo. These two books. Amy Dunn is a psychopath. Jackson Oz has such a heart for animals and he fights for what's right, and Amy is a villain. So I absolutely don't see them together. I wouldn't wish her on anybody. Jackson, he deserves better, so. Sorry guys, this is just gonna be full of rips. Ooh, Legolas from Lord of the Rings and Amelia Peabody. Lord of the Rings and the first book in the Amelia Peabody series. Legolas is an elf. He's like a superior being. He's really good with a bow and arrow, fighting, wisdom. He's just like the perfect character. Amelia Peabody is like, she's passionate, she's sassy, she's got an attitude. She has a love for Egyptology and archaeology. She's always like tracking down artifacts and Legolas is good at tracking. And she's always fighting off enemies. I say always. I've only read the first book. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's a mystery series, so I know that she's always fighting off enemies. Legolas could help her with that. Mm. I, I don't ship them, but, like, in theory, maybe, but no. India Black from the India Black series, and Rourke McDonald from Embrace the Dawn. Actually, guys, this could work. Oh, let me show the books. Embrace the Dawn and India Black. Here we go. India Black owns a brothel. Ooh. Uh... But she ends up working for the government as a spy. And she's just really sassy and tough. Like in her own way, her life, she's just, she has a lot of life experience. Moral lines blurred, but. <laughs> um, and 
Ruark. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Ruark. Um, it's not Rourk or Ruark. He is just like this tough, macho Scottish guy. He's got like a heart of gold, but he's still like, <laughs> and um, I think India would like that. I'm not hardcore shipping it, but I think it could work. Patrick from the Patrick Bowers Files and Audrey Rose Wadsworth from Stalking Jack the Ripper. The Pawn, which is a plain, <laughs> plain black book. Um, it's the first book in the Patrick Bowers Files and here it is. Stalking Jack the Ripper. This is actually another couple that could work. Patrick is a modern day FBI agent. He solves crimes. Audrey is a young girl in the time of Jack the Ripper. She's interested in forensics and autopsies. And I don't know, they could they could be a, you know, crime fighting team. Marcus from the Mark of the Lion series by Francine Rivers, and Elphaba from Wicked. <sighs> Actually, this is a really weird couple, but in a way it might work, and let me tell you why. So, Elphaba is from Wicked, Marcus from Mark of the Lion. Marcus comes from a rich family, very privileged. He ends up falling in love with a servant who's a very plain, simple girl. But, I don't know, she like really opens him up to humility and um, just by being kind and being quiet. Not quiet in the sense that she doesn't talk to anybody, but just she has a gentle spirit. Spoiler alert, she is thrown to the lions, and she survives, but her face is marred. She hides from him because she's afraid that she's just ruined. She's not pretty anymore, or, you know, he, he could never look at her. And in the end, when she is finally revealed to him, he doesn't even react to her scars. He just stares at her with love. Obviously, he sees the scars, but it doesn't even matter at all to him. The reason I say it could work with Elphaba in a weird way is she struggles with a similar issue. She has green skin. It bothers her. Hadassah, the girl that Marcus falls in love with, her struggles remind me of Elphaba and vice versa, which is why this could potentially work. Anne Shirley from Man of Green Gables. Ooh, the Phantom from Phantom of the Opera. Honestly, I think Anne would chat his ear off. <laughs> and he would just give up on trying to run away with her. But then again, Anne Shirley's a hopeless romantic. So the whole, like, phantom taking her in the dead of night to his underground lair. She might like that. I don't ship it, but it could actually work. Weird. I forgot to show you the books. I actually don't have Phantom of the Opera. Um, I got rid of it because I didn't like it. <laughs> I did read it, just didn't enjoy it. But I do have Anne of Green Gables, um, the second book. The first book's downstairs. Didn't have time to go get it. <laughs> so here's the second book. Next couple. Klaus from Series of Unfortunate Events and Katniss from Hunger Games. Klaus is very studious. Katniss is passionate. She's a go-getter. I think they're both passionate, but I just... Hmm. I don't see the dynamic working. I see them as friends who have both struggled a lot, and they relate on that level. I don't see them relating on a romantic level. So I rip it. Actually, no. I ship it as friends. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I see them as friends. I really do. Oliver from the Freaks... Squad series. He is a vampire. And Sarah, who no. I don't see this at all. No. From Harvest of Rubies. It's the first book in the Freaks series and then Harvest of Rubies. Sarah is a simple girl. She's not into like beauty and like going over the top, getting dressed up. She loves being a scribe. She loves writing and also 
Um, I think like keeping track of accounts and things like that. Oliver is a flirty vampire. This is wrong! She's a sweet Jewish girl and he's a flirty vampire and this is like blasphemous. That's a, that's a triple rip. No! I know that Oliver, he's got a heart underneath all that, but no. Stay away. Now I get to tell you who I paired together and I have a list on my laptop so I don't forget. This isn't part of the tag. I don't know if other people do this, I just thought it would be fun. I paired the Phantom with Amy Elliott Dunn. They're both masters in manipulation. I feel like their whole relationship would just be like trying to like one-up each other and like, I don't know. It was just a really random couple that came to me and I thought it was genius. I totally forgot. One of the couples did get paired up. I did put Patrick, the FBI agent, with Audrey, who's into forensics and autopsies. So Oliver, the flirty vampire, I paired him with India Black, the brothel madam turned British spy. You can kind of figure it out for yourself, but the banter would be great. <laughs> I put Jackson Oz with Amelia Peabody because Jackson Oz is into science and animals and Amelia Peabody is into Egyptology and history. Even though those are like two different fields of study, I feel like both of them would have really intelligent conversations. I put Marcus from Mark of the Lion series with Sarah from Harvest of Rubies. Now when you hear me describing her as a plain girl who just loves to be a scribe, she's really into her work. It's actually a lot like Hadassah, the girl that Marcus ends up marrying. I don't want to say plain in a bad way, but they're just simple girls. They're not high maintenance. They're not asking for attention, which is why their, um, <laughs> their future husbands are drawn to them. I paired Edmund Tilney with Anne Shirley because she reminds me a lot of Catherine Moreland, the girl that Edmund falls in love with and marries. Anne doesn't annoy me like Catherine does, but basically they're both really into reading and daydreaming and they let their imaginations run wild and overwhelm them. Edmund is, he's charmed by Catherine's imagination. He's also strict with her, telling her that she needs to not rely so much on fantasy because it can ruin the real life that's in front of her. Gilbert did the same thing with Anne. I saw a parallel in there, so I thought Edmund and Anne would be a good pairing, although I would never take her away from Gil. I put Snape with Elphaba. First of all, they both deal with magic. Second of all, they're both misunderstood. Snape seems like such a bad guy. Same with Elphaba, but you come to find out that their intentions aren't bad. They've just been portrayed under the circumstances as bad. Obviously Snape was bad, but he came over to the good side. Once again, not trying to butcher the Celtic names. I am trying to pronounce them properly. Really sorry if I'm not. I paired Ruark McDonald, the big, strong, uh, in-your-face Scottish guy, with Myra, the tough, kick-butt Celtic warrior. Honestly, she's amazing. <laughs> she's like the Celtic Wonder Woman. I think she is a queen, actually, or a princess, something like that. No, she's like a queen. She's like a Celtic warrior queen. What more could you want? Just imagine the two together. Ruark and Moira taking over the world. Klaus I put with Liesl. I thought this was a really sweet couple, especially because in their respective books, they're both young. They both go through tragic loss over and over again. And they both find comfort in books. The last one, Legolas and Katniss. Obviously, they're both really good with a bow and arrow, but they're both just like strong warriors. Legolas is quiet and wise. Katniss is like a go-getter, and I feel like side-by-side. -side power couple. Also, I would never pair Legolas with anyone that didn't look like me because... <laughs> okay. I really hope you enjoyed this tag. Get involved in the 
discussion down below. Let me know if you guessed any of the couples I paired together. Do you think I did a good job? Did I do an okay job or did I do a terrible job? Are there any of the random couples that I shipped that you would rip? Are there any of the random couples I ripped that you ship? I want to know. Let's talk. Let's be internet friends. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Click the bell to turn on your notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye.